Crafterellas. It's me, Alex, coming at you today with hobo hair, which seemed to have got quite a great response the last time I had it. <laughs> so, um, I decided to rock it again. No, today was just a casual Saturday. Got my car smogged, got my car registered, and then decided to end my week with a little shopping at my local scrapbook store. Um, so there's a couple things that I want to address first. Nothing really bad. First being, um, I have to tell my soul sister, Vicky, yes, me love Bono. If you haven't checked her out, go ahead and do so. But I'm sure you guys are all aware. Um, loved the playlist of the songs that I was able to look at. And um, we're on a wavelength here. We're on a wavelength with music. Um, if you didn't notice the intro song, that was for Vicky. Um, played a little cameo there for her. And I really appreciate the shout out um, from her. And I also appreciate the uh, Shoreline collection, which was on the tip of my tongue in my last video that I couldn't figure out what the heck I was looking for. So first of all, I want to address that. Hi, Vicki. And uh, thank you for that. And um, also, <laughs> so the YouTube community is great. Um, and it's really fun to meet people who, I don't know what's going on with my lips. Anyways, um, it's really fun to meet people who watch you and, you know, like what you do on YouTube. So I'm in my local scrapbook store today. I'm checking out stamps. And this lovely lady looks over at me and she says, you're on YouTube, right? And I, I couldn't hear her. And I said, I'm sorry, what? And she goes, you're on, you're on YouTube. You do YouTube videos. And I was like, why, yes, I do. <laughs> and then the first thing that popped in my mind is that I look like this. <laughs> so, Amber, if you're watching, it was a pleasure to meet you today. I'm sorry I look like such a schlub in a schlub rock. Um, you caught me on an off day. Of course, I look kind of like a schlub every day. I don't really have time to get all gussied up. But I promise in a video I will be all gussied up and all pretty. And um, you will see me look like a normal human being, not a schlub. So anyways, hi Amber, and if any of you, and this is so weird and awkward to say, but if any of you ever see, at least for me, if you see me out and about, if you're in Northern California in the Bay Area and you happen to see me at the local scrapbook store or wherever, feel free to say hi. Um, I don't bite. <laughs> so, um, so that was a neat experience. It wasn't awkward at all. I just felt really bad that I didn't look up to par um, when she saw me. But uh, she caught me on a Saturday where I was basically doing a trunk ton of errands and happened to just decide to go to the scrapbook store. So anyways, I have a collective haul. And another side note, everybody who is calling me an enabler, don't think that y'all are off the hook. Uh, Rashida, MMDO, with a whole bunch of numbers. I know you called me out, <laughs> but you are just as an enabler. After I saw some of the Pebble stuff on one of your videos, I went to 2Ps and was like, I need to order this and order that and order this because Miss Rashida had it. So we're all enablers. We all enable. We probably don't need to buy any of this stuff, but we want to. We work hard for our money and... They're just things that we want. So, anywho, plus I'm going to do a video, I know I've been talking about this for a while, about sometimes there's people who aren't so uh, super popular on YouTube, and that's just because maybe the word hasn't gotten out, but I kind of want to do a um, look, check these people out kind of YouTube, which I may do after this, who knows. So, let's get on with the important stuff. This is a collective haul. Bella's going to help me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi, Bella. Say hi. Say hi. Can you say hi? And she's going to... What are you going to do? 
Okay, get down. <laughs> she wanted to say hi. She's She just walked in the doggy door. So this is a collective haul. This is stuff from my local scrap store that I got today. Joann's. An order from Vanessa, 77 Butterfly Love on YouTube. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So let's start off with some papers. I got these actually today at the scrap store. I just want to kind of get them over and done with. Um, fancy Pants on point. I, one of my favorite... I know Basic Gray Life of the Party is like one of my favoriteest collections. And I know that favoriteest isn't a word. Sorry. Um, one of my favorite collections. But uh, the Fancy Pants. I can't remember. And somebody will tell me just like you told me Shoreline. It's the collection from Fancy Pants that had a bunch of birds and it had like a deck of cards in it. Can't really remember the name. But Love, that's like one of my favorite collections of all time too. Well, Fancy Pants has come out with a few collections and they are really cute. I'm talking really, really cute. Um, and this is one of them. This is from the Down by the Shore collection. And I got it for this side. This is called Anchors Away. It's navy blue with white anchors. And on the B side is red with white polka dots. But I just thought that was so cute. And the other papers in this collection are of like a whale and an octopus. It's really, really cute. Very cute. And I'm I'm big into like the nautical stuff. I really like nautical stuff. So this is from Bella Boulevard, their love and marriage line. And I'm going to be getting more of this because my Nick's brother is getting married and his fiance and I are really close. So I'm going to be throwing her bachelorette party. So I'm going to be getting because they have really great bachelorette papers which I've never really seen, but they're really cute. So I'm going to get those for like Project Life and stuff. Um, and this is called es Esther Fleming Floral. Gosh, try saying that five times fast. Um, I got it for this side. And this is from The Love and Marriage by Stephanie Hunt. And these are just little hearts. You can probably see the hearts there. And then this side is... Uh, this but I didn't really get it for that I got it for the hearts wow spent way too long on that one piece of paper so excuse me according to the ladies at the scrap store Hambly Prince has gone out of business unfortunately um, and they are local to Bay Area they're from Santa Clara down south sorry I had some soda before my video watching Downton Abbey anyways <laughs> Um, so I got a couple Hambly papers. This is a silver paper with white chevron. Really cute. So I got, um, I get 20% off at the store, so I ended up getting three sheets of those. And the other sheets I got was this really cute salmon in silver chevron. I got a couple sheets of those, and then I got this as well, because I'm in love with this. I don't know why I've never seen this before, but it's like a black and pewter chevron. How pretty is that? Like, that's that's just like a really powerful, masculine, just beautiful. Um, So, again, random side note, because you guys know I love side notes. It's my birthday month. Uh, my birthday's on the 26th. I'm having a party uh, on the 23rd for, with my friends. It's called the 10th anniversary of turning 21 party. <laughs> I'll be turning 31 on the 26th, but I'm having a party on the 23rd. And Nick was so cute and rented a room for us in San Francisco. And it's called Hotel Vertigo SF. And it's based on the Alfred Hitchcock movie Vertigo. And the color scheme is like black, pewter, orange, and white. So I think I'm going to take pictures. The pictures of the room are gorgeous. If you get a chance, you can go online and look. Um, and so I thought that that would be appropriate to scrap something about the room because I love architecture and Nick loves design. So um, I got a piece of this PAL paper, which 
everybody raves about. I love it. This is called Evergreen. It is white with like spearmint color houndstooth. Nick and I are big houndstooth fans. We love that print. Um, and mint has been my color, of, it's been my power color <laughs> for a while now. Um, so I got that. And then here's another salmon. And then I picked up this from the Echo Park Photo Freedom. Um, and everybody, you've seen, you guys have all seen these. Um, just the three by four journaling cards for the specific months for Project Life. So, voila. Okay. Um, I picked up a couple more things. This is from the scrapbook store. This is the new basic grade knee highs and bow ties. Uh, it's a boy girl collection. Um, these are the snippets. Sheets of unique and versatile scraps that will beautify any paper craft. Um, and I think that they are, some of them are four by, maybe not. They're basically like L Studio kind of things. They come in sheets. And I haven't really seen these talked about on YouTube yet. So I'll just go through a few of them. So they're pieces that you can cut out. You know, like L Studio, how they come on a sheet. And you cut them out on your own. And, uh, it, oh. It says, we are a happy family. Look at the little burrs. And yes, I'm well aware I have one hand painted and one hand not. That will change today. Um, so got that. Really cute. It's a little uh, more on the child side, but I definitely think the colors are really fun and um, can be pretty versatile. I also picked up uh, the... Because like I said, it's split into two collections. Knee highs is girls and bow ties is boys. So I picked up the 6 by 6 pad of the knee high. And I think... Hmm. So I'm going to see if I can... You can see little chicks, diagonal lines, chevron. Those are hearts, swirls really cool pattern, arrows, numbers and letters. So really cute, very springish, but again, a little bit more on the childy side, but I think it's really cute. And plus six by six paper pads are really great for Project Life, so. Um, I also picked up, let's continue with paper pads, the new Doodle Bug Take Note uh, six by six paper pad. And this is um, not opened yet. I should always bring something to open. My poor, my poor six by six paper pads are all like that. <laughs> Cause I try to open them and I don't bring um, scissors and stuff to open them. So we spend time during YouTube to undo it and rip off the front cover. <laughs> So really colorful, and after all that, I didn't even get the other side off. Okay, so now that I've completely mutilated the front cover, <laughs> let's take a look at the paper. Um, this has different numbers, um, and they're double-sided. So let's see if I can... Really cute. Love that. So really cute. I think they repeat twice. Like this is really cute. It's got um, little clipboards. So loved that. Um, with that, I picked up the mini pearls, the spring assortment, but they were out with that doodle bug collection. And they also have all of these uh, Doodlebug washies with the Doodlebug colors. This is the gray Swiss dot, and this is the pool Swiss dot. Pool Swiss dot. So that is that. Um. Oh, and I also picked up some enamel dots. 
from that basic gray collection. Um, I picked up these ones. And I can't find the other ones, but I got also pink, red and pink, the enamel dots. Okay. Picked up soft green Hero Arts shadow ink. It looked close to mint, so I figured, hey, why not? Oh, and I have stuff from Cat Scrappiness. I'll briefly tell you what I got from Cat. I got... Studio Calico Wood Veneer Stars. Thank you, Kat. And I got Mint Julep uh, Mr. Huey because I'm obsessed with mint. And what else did I get from Kat? Something else. And I can't remember right now, but I will show you when I figure it out. Um, okay, so I picked up some uh, Remarks stickers for the Amy Tangerine... The new Amy Tangerine, um, I forgot what collection this is, Hello. The new Amy Tan collection. Got the remark stickers for that. I picked up these Snap sticker labels because a girl could never have enough labels. I am in, on the hunt for the pack of the letters. Um, I cannot find them anywhere, and I got a couple in the Studio Calico kit last month, and I'm obsessed with them. What else? Oh, also from Doodlebug, uh, they put out four by six album inserts for this Take Note collection, and I don't think I opened it, but like, I, I can't open it because I don't want to ruin it, but if you can see in there, Bella, come on, they have a calendar so you can maybe circle the year if you have a uh, scrapbooking that you're doing that's not... 2012 or 13 when some of these stuff came out so um it it's kind of go it's retroactive it has past years which is great so they had a new section of Maya Road stuff um and I picked up a couple of things from there I picked up this stamp set and it is a bunch of cameras it is called picture perfect stamp set and a bunch of different cameras, InstaLove, Hello, Captured, Picture Perfect. And I'm still on the camera hype. I know a lot of people are kind of over it, but I'm still on it. This is You've Been Framed and really cute little frames. The only thing that kind of irritates me about these is that I have other uh, Meyer Road stamp sets, and some of these are repeats. The snapshot, I already have a stamp of, and I think... This um, houndstooth frame, I already have a stamp of. So it kind of peeves me, but the rest of them are cute. So, Also from my road, I picked up, and I don't know why I picked up so many of these. Probably because I'm going to share them. I know I have got some for Kate. But these are the Say Cheese camera pieces, and these are the transparent ones. These are the Craft Say Cheese with white cameras. And these are the Craft Say Cheese in Black. So really liked those. Thought those were cool. And those were only, I think, $2.99 each. Yeah. Um, also from my road, I got this. This was really cute. This is Our Town. And in San Francisco, they've got tons of Victorians. And so uh, Nick and I, we were going to do a tour of San Francisco when my best friend moves back from where she moved to and um, I thought that would be fun. I also picked up one last stamp set from my road because I thought that this would be really cute for um, Project Life and this is Snapshot Words so Polaroid and all picture related stamps. Speaking of stamps I Picked up a few. I picked up a uh, Quinn's one two threes from Lawn Fawn. I love the alphabet, and so it's good to have numbers that match that. Speaking of the alphabet, which I already have, I picked up the Lawn Cut Custom Craft Die. It's a wafer thin die of the Quinn's ABC. So that's I by say. I don't know why I said it like that, but for the Quinn's ABC, I got the wafer thin die, and I think this is great. 
Um, although I totally have an, an addiction to alpha stickers and you will see why in just a minute. Um, I thought it was great to have these because I can always customize my letters. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then I picked up this because, um, like Chevron was for last year. I think arrows are the big thing this year. And, um, I really thought these were cute background stamps. Um, and this is, they're called sharp backdrops and they're the triangles, arrows, and, uh, thinner triangles. Speaking of triangles, I got this actually from Vanessa. I ordered this from Vanessa, 77 Butterfly Love. And I got the, from the True Love Collection, this is the Arrow Background stamp. So I thought that was really cute. And what's really cute about it is that, I don't know if you can tell, in between some of the arrows there's hearts. My computer isn't really focused, but like, um, and excuse the gross nails. Let's see here. Like right there, there's a little heart in between the arrows. So I thought that that was really, really cute. Um, other stamps I got, I got this set from Hero Arts and Studio Calico. And these are really cute. These are called Come Fly With Me. And uh, I'm going to be doing some traveling this year. Uh, and Nick and I were talking about doing some road trips. So they're small, but they're all travel themed. Happy Travels. Um, in high school, our mascot were skippers and anchors. I've, like I said, in the beginning, I've always been into nautical things. So my dad was a captain on a ship. So anchors are always my deal. So those stamps are cute. This is what they all look like on the back. So going back to Fancy Pants and their new collections, this is a trendsetter from Fancy Pants. And these are the envelopes and I just am going to take these out because these are really like really cute so they are the you know the string hinge you have to you undo them and to, to fasten them you tie the string around so this is a navy blue they're not lined on the inside so this is navy blue with like a pale tomato red almost coral I know it looks redder well it's like a I don't know it's like a persimmon orange red it's kind of hard to describe and it's blue and white so it comes with three big and three small so that's one of the big the other big is this really cute chevron and wood grain it's got uh, white navy aqua and that red with like a wood grain in the back and white fasteners and this one, which is my ultimate favorite. I'm going to covet this. This hound's tooth with all of the colors. Um, and they even threw in a dash of pink with navy blue fasteners. And the small ones are stripes with all the colors of the collection. That tomato red. It's like cream of tomato soup with milk. When you add milk to it instead of water, it's what it looks like. And then this one that has a bunch of different... Um, icons on it. There's a typewriter. There's like a woman with coasters or tarot cards, a finger pointing, that kind of stuff. So those are really cute. Got a pack of those. Also from that Fancy Pants collection, I picked up the decorative bags. And um, yeah, mint and navy blue. Can life get any better than that? Here's what they all look like. If you want me to take them out of the bag, just Leave me a comment and I will do another video with that. And I also picked up the pattern photo frames. And that's what they look like. And this is all Fancy Pants Trendsetter Collection. I know I'm kind of going all over the place. So. Next thing I picked up, um, I know that Pebbles is coming out with a bunch of stuff and they've come out with like a lot of cards and stuff. I picked up these banner cards and they're in like this... Um, very light seafoam kit. And I thought that they were all banners with just Swiss polka dots, and they're not. And they actually come with a little bit of twine on top that matches. So the banners are like chevron, polka dot, reverse polka dot, floral, 
and so on and so forth. So I thought that was really cute. Those were $3.99. But you know, pendants are always cute to use as I push in my glasses. I picked up some uh, doilies from Bow Bunny. These were $2.99 and there's I think 20 in here. So I will definitely be sharing these, but I thought that those were a good size. Um, also from Vanessa, I picked up the, um, the sticker pack from the Lucky Charm, Dear Lazy Lucky Charm. And what peeves me about these stickers, I picked these up, maybe I got these from Kat too. I think I got these from Kat. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. So these are the stickers for the Dear Lizzy Fifth and Frolic. Okay. And the other remark stickers from Amy Tan are this size as well. So tell me why the Lucky Charm ones are this small. I, I don't get it. I'm not sure why we're downsizing. I paid roughly the same for both. And there's eight sheets of both. But this one is small and this one is not. So I'm not sure what their deal is. And kind of like a Moronski, I ordered these from Vanessa as well. And I actually just purchased these. I think I showed you guys the uh, Pebbles family journaling cards that are uh, three by four and four by six um, that are family oriented. So either do a lot of family stuff or kick them to the curb. And, and I went to Joanne's. And I found some more. I found some of the bigger silver ones. I am coveting these because I can only find very few at a time. And I'm not so crazy. I mean, the black ones are cool and the clear ones are cool, but it's really for the silver ones. What's up, dog? It's really for the silver ones that I'm looking for. And I also picked up a pack of the small silver and gold. Um, oh, here's the enamel dots, the basic gray ones that are red and pink. Cute. Got a lovely letter from Vanessa. She's so cute. I'm sure she probably made this. Ta-da! Um, also from the Basic Gray, I'm all over the place. I know you guys, I'm sorry. Basic Gray knees, knee highs and bow ties. This is almost 30 minutes. Holy crap and only. Okay, um, and I got these metal tabs. Thought those were really cute. Picked up a one inch punch. For, oh, that's what I got from Kat. The Ali Edwards one inch flare stamps. That's the other thing I got from Kat. From Joann's, I picked up this because all of their fact and fiction stuff was, I think, 70% off. This sticker sheet, and it has these aqua colored alphas. Love those. Picked up some Amy Tan flare. The uh, ones with the silver on them, silver tags. Some wood veneers in the uh, geotag and the amber sand and the question mark and the number hashtag. Love those. And from Vanessa, I also ordered the Everyday Eclectic because I've been looking for this collection. Hi. I've been looking for this collection and I got it for, I think, like eight bucks. It was on sale on her site. So that was great. Okay. So this is what I talked about with an alpha edition. Oh, and we all know what these are. We all know what these are. Problem. Serious problem. So Joann's was having a 50% off of their thicker sale. And I'm sure that's to like make room for some of the new CHA stuff. Although Joann's, my Joann's is kind of lagging because we don't have the Hey Girl, Hey Boy collection yet. So go figure. Um, so I picked up some... Um, let me see the ones that I got from Joann's. Because I don't want to... Okay, so Joann's ones, I got these. These are sentiment, and they're in silver. These are the Pebbles corrugated board ones. These are uh, reindeer in the silver. I think these probably came out with, like, Kringle collection, maybe. And I also got them in black. I like the font a lot. This is the Rockabye font, which is one of my favorite capital fonts. I like the capital letters in these. I already broke into these. If you saw my Project Life, I wrote the word Chewy out in these, but I've used these for a lot. These are the hard cover, and they're in foil, and they are gold. And I also picked them up in silver. 
Um, these are the Everywhere. These were exclusive to Studio Calico, the thickers, and these are the, the um, they say Everywhere, and they're a font that has like a map on it, really cute. The Doll font, one of my favorite fonts in black glitter. And this is also the Sentiment font. I got it in gold. Okay. So I picked up uh, these next set of thickers from Vanessa, 77 Butterfly Love, from her little store. These are the Daiquiri font. I love the font, and these are in that gold, chunky glitter. As Kate says, amaze balls. Which, by the way, Kate, I'll be sending you your stamp and your goodies thing. I actually found a stamp that said amaze balls. Can you believe that? So, anyways, I got two of those gold things. All right, this is the hugs font, and these are corrugated, and they're they're called Robin's Egg. These are Dear Lizzie Thickers, the Fox font in gold. I think these are fifth from fifth and frolic. These I believe are from Lucky Charm. Yeah, because they're called Charm. And they're black foam. They're called Thirsty Script. Thirsty Script. And I got them in black. These are also from Dear Lizzie. Uh, they're called the treasure font and these are really cool these are kind of like a very very faint robin's egg blue and they have chunky clear glitter but they have like newsprint on them really cool i think i got two of those i did and the same thing the treasure in like a pale it's it looks cream but it's like a pale pale butter yellow Ta-da! okay and from my scrap store today, I picked up some more. Um, yeah, let's just not even go there. These are the basics, and these are really cute. These are called Begonia. The color is Begonia, and they're foam, and they're like this really great springtime pink. This is the Fox font in like a pewter, pewter gray. Uh, didn't know how I was going to feel about these. Took me a while to decide that I was going to get some. And I decided to just get one pack in, in the one color. These are the Sketchbook and the Aqua. They're cute. They are. I'm still kind of on the fence. Um, but they have geotags. So I'm going to love them for that. Plus, I do like the, the thickers that are the um, chipboard. This is that Rockabye font, and they're just white. But they're, what's neat about them is that the glitter is almost like a champagne white glitter. It's kind of hard to describe. It's not just your average. You know, usually when you see white with white glitter, the white glitter has, like, the green and the pink in it a little bit. This is, like, white with, like, silver white glitter. I picked up both a uh, trinket in the light and the original colors from the Lucky Charm. In case you haven't seen what the light and the regular ones look like. Um, I followed suit with everybody and picked up the Amy Tangerine Remarks letter stickers. And this is a great value. Um, it was $8. I get 20% off each item so brought it down a little bit but I love the fact you get so many freaking letters in here and last but not least uh, for a long time these are also the charm and these are the thirsty script in the tan so these go with the lucky charm collection so um that is all that is all I ever need and um, this is 34 minutes long. Holy crap anoli. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions on anything that I showed you in this video, um, I will be happy to respond to them, open up a box, make sure that my glasses are straight when I talk to you, <laughs> and we can go from there. And like I said, if you ever see me out in public, please don't hesitate to step up, say hi. I promise I won't bite. 
and I appreciate you guys very, very much. I appreciate you watching and sticking with me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Take care. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.